All right, so this morning you're trying to sit around and maybe think of a healthy new dish to feed the family. Greg Hare from Stratford University is here to tell us about a quick and easy dish that is healthy as well. And you've got all the ingredients right here. All the ingredients right here. Everybody's like, oh, we have butter here. How healthy is that? And, right. You know, it's white rice. How healthy is that? Well, again, everything's, as we were talking about, right. healthy in moderation. Moderation. Exactly. That's the key to you it. Don't That's need, the problem that I You have, don't need though. to sit down and eat five pounds of food. My moderation know? may be different than most people's <laughs> moderation. Exa That's exactly. at the gym. All right. Exactly. So, so first, we have our shrimp. And just for a little safety thing here, yeah. when you peel your shrimp, and regardless of how you get your shrimp, if it comes already steamed, right. you want to take that vein out. Okay, because yeah. that's where the nerve, as well I've as heard the, it's called something else. the intestinal tract, nice. we will we will call it that. The intestinal for, tract. Exactly. So we want to be sure that that comes out. Okay. We don't want to contaminate or you know make people sick. So we're gonna throw a little butter into our pan. And, and these are jumbo shrimp. I mean that. Um, that's some that's pretty good size shrimp. Yeah. Oxymoron, isn't it? Jumbo <laughs> shrimp. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> <That's it>. Right. <laughs> Uh, whatever size shrimp you're comfortable with, uh, yeah, by sure. all means, please use. You can take the tails off if you okay. wish. Um, we like to keep them on for decoration. You can keep the shells for um, stock for later on if you wish. We're okay. going to get our shrimp into the butter. Now, how hot do you have this pan right now? I have I mean, this pan just enough to melt the butter, you know, okay. medium-ish heat, just to get the pan hot. Gotcha. We don't want a, too much of a hot sear on it, and shrimp will overcook if we're not careful. So I'm just. So if we start burning the butter on the edges, then it's too hot for the pan. Yes. Okay. I mean, if I start hearing that high sizzle, start seeing smoke. Okay. Butter's burning, and we're not. You know, you can brown the butter if you know what you're doing at that high of a heat, but we don't really want that. Okay. So we want that nice golden butter flavor. We don't want to overcook our shrimp, so we're just going to get the color, get the flavor in the butter, take our shrimp out. Right. Okay. Because shrimp will overcook very quick on you. We're going to. And that was it. They're done. That, well. Partially done. Okay, all right. We'll get them back. I'm jumping in. ahead. I'm sorry. That's all right. We're going to get our onions in. And what makes it Spanish? Onions. I'm sorry. Tomatoes and peppers. And the peppers. And pretty much. Yeah, tomatoes are really what make it Spanish. And uh, Greg was also telling me a little bit more about that as you're uh, frying this up and flipping it around. Mm -hmm. Saying that the Spaniards introduced tomatoes to Europe. But and then the Italians and the Spaniards started kind of fighting over who actually has the tomato, right? Exactly. And they get in tomato fights all the time. <laughs> Not really. Not really, no. But the Spanish do celebrate the tomato. So it's a history yeah, lesson a while getting while what cooking we try to Stratford. Do. Man, goodness, so once we amazing. cook this down, we're okay. going to throw in our shrimp. Okay. And now, how long does that sit? Because I'm getting a, a signal to close uh, it About up 30 here. seconds or 30 so. Seconds. And then I'm okay. just, once everything's nice and cooked. More butter. A little bit more butter. Not much more. Okay? Moderation. Just a couple tablespoons, exactly, just to make our sauce. And then I have some steamed rice here right and if you wish you could use brown rice okay for a little healthier option if right. you wish and then just serve it up and you're ready to rock and roll spinach over on the side a little of a little, uh, baby little color mm -hmm. there why not all right exactly greg here thank you very much stratford my goodness made it simple quick easy a little bit of butter a little bit of ingredients we got some good shrimp right here spanish all right well to learn more just log on to foxbaltimore.com slash morning coming up improve your